In this tutorial, we'll look at Simulation Express, which is a tool in SOLIDWORKS that can be used to determine the factor of safety of a part for the applied loads. Now, Simulation Express is available in the Tools pull-down menu, but it won't work if the full SOLIDWORKS simulation is added in. We're going to just look at Simulation Express in this tutorial. So if you have SOLIDWORKS simulation added in, you'll need to untick SOLIDWORKS simulation in the add-in so that you can then use Simulation Express. Simulation Express is available as part of Core SOLIDWORKS and it can tell you what the stress value in your model is for the applied loads, what the factor of safety is and what displacement values are in the model also for the applied loads. There are three important assumptions underlying the use of Simulation Express. The materials involved must be linear, deformations must be small, and the loads must be static. Linear materials obey Hooke's law. An example of a material that wouldn't be a linear material is rubber. Hooke's law is a law of physics that states that the force needed to extend or compress a spring by some distance x scales linearly with respect to that distance. That is, where k is a constant factor characteristic of the spring and x is small compared to the total possible deformation of the spring. As you can see here on the image, it takes three times as much force to stretch a spring three times as far. The force in this case is three times the force required in this case here. So it stretches the string three times as far as the force in this one. The extension is directly proportional to the applied force. Deformations must be small for Simulation Express to work. The factor of safety is a measurement of how likely the objects you design are prone to failure. A large factor of safety in the region of a part would indicate that there is excess material and that can be removed. Most codes require a minimum factor of safety of between 1.5 and 3. The Simulation Express tool uses the maximum von Mises stress criterion to calculate the factor of safety distribution. And it calculates this by dividing the yield strength of the material by the von Mises or equivalent stress at that particular point. If the factor of safety is less than one, then that indicates that the material has failed at that location. A factor of safety of one at a location indicates that the material is just starting to fail. So we need a larger factor of safety than one. And as mentioned earlier, factors of safety would normally for most codes, be between 1.5 and 3. We're going to look at this particular part now in SolarWorks, where we're going to fix these two cylindrical faces here, and we're going to apply a vertical load of 10,000 newtons to this cylindrical surface here. We're also going to add a linked note to the model to display its weight. So if we change any features in the model, the weight should update. So let's go and look at this part now in SolarWorks. So here in SolarWorks, we have this model that we showed you earlier, and we're going to load up our Simulation Express. So go to the Tools menu, Express Products and Simulation Express. So the Simulation Express tool appears over here in the task pane. So we'll start by adding a fixture. To add a fixture, just click Add fixture and we're going to fix these two cylindrical faces here. So select the cylindrical face on the left and select the cylindrical face on the right. So we've selected these two cylindrical faces there. So they're fixed and click OK on that. Now we could add more fixtures or we can edit that fixture if you want. Uh, the fixtures also appear over here on your feature manager. So you can see here that these two surfaces have been fixed. Let's click next. And then it goes on to apply the loads. So we're going to apply a force in this case. So select add a force. We're going to apply the force to this cylindrical face here. You'll notice that the arrows are not pointing upwards. So we're going to change the selected direction. It asks me to select a plane. So I'm going to use the flyout here to select the top plane. And now our arrows are pointing up. You can reverse the direction if you wish, but we want the arrows pointing upwards. And we're going to add a load here of 10,000 newtons in a vertical direction and click OK. So that's our force. So again, you can see this here on your model. 
your fixtures and the force and the direction of the force. Let's click next. The material, you can choose material. Our material is plain carbon steel. Click apply, close. So the yield strength and all the other properties of the material are captured when you select your material. Let's click next. Now we're going to run the simulation. So you can see the results there. You're getting an animation here as to how the model would appear to deform for the applied load. So that seems to make sense. So the model is deforming as I expect. So I'm going to click continue on this. Now the factor of safety is here. So it tells me in this case that the factor of safety is 3.59. So this particular part is more than adequate for that particular applied load. So over here in the results, you can see the von Mises stress. So if I double click on that, you can see the stress diagram for the part and you have the maximum and minimum. You can see the displacement, deformation, and finally the factor of safety based on one Mises stress. So the minimum factor of safety in this case is 3.59. So this part would be absolutely fine. So that's where you get your factor of safety from. So you should note that and add it in as a note. You can also generate a report and generate an e-drawing file, but we don't need that in this case. You also have an option to optimize your model. So we're not going to optimize our model in this case. And we have now completed using the SOLIDWORKS Simulation Express Wizard. You do get the option then when you exit out of this to save your Simulation Express data. So click yes in that. Your Simulation Express data will be saved with your model. Another thing that we've asked you to do is put in a linked note on your drawing. So to do this, if you go to the Annotation tab here and select Note, You've got some leader options here. We go for bent leader and select those two options there. Click on our model and drag over here. Weight equals. Now we need to extract the weight from the model. So to do that, we can go over here and select link to property. So click on link to property. We're going to use the custom properties from the model found here, and we're going to select weight. So SolidWorks will extract the weight, click OK, and we should add G at the end here to indicate that the weight is in grams. Press escape to exit out of the note tool there. So that's the weight of the part. This is a smart note. OK, so if you hover over there, you can see it's pulling the properties. So here's the weight of the part. Let's test our smart note now. So if we were to suppress these fillets here, you would expect the weight of the part to reduce because we're going to remove some material in this case. So there's the new weight of the part. Let's take those fillets and unsuppress them and the weight update. So this is our linked note here. You should also use the note without any leaders to put in the factor of safety. So, so you got this earlier from your simulation express. So factor of safety is equal to 3.59 in this case. So that's linked note and factor of safety. We're going to look at one more thing in this model here. If you go to the configuration manager, you can create different configurations of this part by right clicking at the top here of the tree on the part name and select add configuration. So we're going to call this configuration one and click OK. And right now that's the same as the default configuration. Let's create a second one. Right click on the part name, go add configuration. Let's call this configuration two. Now there can only be one configuration active at a time. And the active configuration is the last one we've added there, configuration two. So if you go back to your feature manager here, you see the part name and in brackets after it is the configuration name. So our active configuration here is configuration two. In this version, let's say I'm going to suppress the fillets. Now, if I switch between our configurations, you'll see in configuration one, the fillets are still there. 
put in configuration two with no filler. So let's make another change to this part here. If you right click in annotations, you can show feature dimensions. And here we have the dimensions for the model. And let's say I want to increase the diameter of our feature here. If I double click on that dimension, I can change that dimension. But I only want to change it in this configuration. So over here, you have this drop down here and you have this configuration, all configurations, specify configuration. So we only want to change this in this configuration. So click that, rebuild your model. I'm going to hide our feature dimensions again. And let's switch between our two configurations now. So configuration one is as we left it, the original diameter and the fillets. Let's go to configuration two. We have our larger diameter and we have no fillets. In configuration two, you can suppress or unsuppress features and you can walk back and forth to create two different versions or two different configurations of your part uh, as we've shown you here. So sometimes you will need to walk back and forth between your two configurations in case you get any errors. And another good tip is to use the rollback tool here. So use the rollback and walk down from the top of the design tree and you can see the order in which these features were created in this case. To fix errors that you might get, work from the top of the design tree downwards, uh, like so, and fix the errors as you go. And that's it. So there we have it, two different versions of the same part. And we've also shown you how to calculate the factor of safety for an applied load. Hopefully you learned some useful tools there that you can use in your own assignments. Thanks for watching.